before we go to the lumber store to buy wood to build our bed platform for the camper van, we are gonna wash this dirty, dirty car. I don't like the dirt roads. Stacy loves the name of this place. Dirt Squirt. So our first stop for the day is Ikea. Yeah, we've got an idea. We're going to try the Ikea desk legs. They're lightweight. They have a nice thin loaf profile frame for the flange and they screw right in. So when we want to fold up or take out the bed, we can take the legs off and put it away. Now, is this going to work? We don't know. I'm a big guy. We're going to have to try it out. And if it doesn't, we'll go to two by fours or something. It's called real life. <laughs> we're just going to experiment as we go. After this, we're gonna to go to either Home Depot or Lowe's, I'm not sure which, get mm -hmm. some wood cut, get some hardware, put some things together, see if we can't build a bed frame. We've watched a lot of videos on YouTube and we've got a lot of great ideas. We actually already own some six inch thick foam pads that we really like. They're so comfortable. Mm -hmm. We grabbed them on Amazon and we wanna build a bed platform based on the size of those and um, cross our fingers that we don't screw this up <laughs> but you can be here with us and laugh at whatever we do have a little fun we're also going to check out some storage ideas ikea is great for tight spaces organization and, uh, organization and uh, i never mind browsing ikea yeah ikea is fun so come with us and let's have some fun and then let's get some wood and then let's build a bed frame absolutely sounds like a plan bam bam <laughs> what are you doing found my first thing what's and that we never have enough tape measures <laughs> what'd you find stace <laughs> these are super cute and i can't even kill them can't even kill them because they're fake no you know who needs to come on our adventures with us who needs to come groot groot yes, yes. we have a little groot in the plant in our living room and these could be his friends those could be his friends <laughs> bring them along for the journey look at the tiny little nightstand yeah. nice and short Perfect for the van. Yeah. I don't know. Should we get one? Probably. We're in the kids' area. We think I'm in trouble. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> That's cute. We are now by my cutting boards. I think we need new ones for the van. Yeah, we're going with the 11 by 14 flexible cutting mats. These actually could be used as a placemat as well, and you can cut on them too. Very functional, very handy. We are purchasing two of these. Two of this one here. And we have the Hot Logic Max. So put two of them together, and you have a 9 by 13 in a sense. Yes. What are you doing? Found this little garbage can, it's kind of cute. Yeah. Come take a look. And then when you close it and you push the button, Yeah. you open it. And I was looking for Oscar the Grouch. R really, Bill? He's not in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cute, though. It is very cute. Small. It is. I found a nice two by three rubber bottom rug for outside the camper van. Oh. For okay. $4.99. $4.99. Gotta love Ikea. And it feels really good. You know, I'm a texture person. It has a nice feel to it. Cool. It's ours. Put it in the bag. So this is the idea we have for the legs. We're gonna cut each one for the custom height that we need. We have adjustable feet on the bottom, if you don't get it right. These have flanges that are really low profile flanges that uh, the legs screw right into. They're lightweight. It's called the Adils, and they're 27 and a half inches long. They're four bucks each. We're gonna get a bunch of these and stick them under the platforms. And if it doesn't work, then we're gonna go with two by four. So we are pulling up to the Home Depot, our second stop for the day, actually third, because we did a car wash, we did Ikea, and now we're doing Home Depot to get our wood. Oh, and we have a stray cart, look at this. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to get our platform wood and our hardware here today, and then we are going to 
see how funny it's going to be to try and build a base. Are you confident? I'm confident. You think we're going to do it and everything we are will be going fine? We're going to do it and it's going to be fine. Okay. So let's go get our wood and our hardware and head home and see what we could do. Let's go. We headed to the lumber aisle, picked out a four by eight, three quarter inch sheet of plywood. We sketched out what we had in mind cut wise with the measurements. Home Depot does allow for the first two cuts free and then 50 cents per cut. It was so worth it. The guy helping us was super nice. He was very curious that we were building a bed platform for a minivan. What are you getting so excited about over there? Oh, D-rings. These are going to go onto the platform and strap down into the car. And why did you just get so excited? Because they're black. <laughs> and I don't have to paint them black. Because I like them to be black. Okay. The truck was filling up fast from the IKEA and Home Depot trips. While we were out, we got a call from Costco letting us know Bill's glasses were in. And out of nowhere, a gray carpet, rotisserie chicken, and pizza appeared in the car. Now that our wood has been cut, we found sample bottles of paint on clearance for 99 cents each. We had them tinted black. We picked up a cheap roller kit and painted away for a clean, uniform look. Now they're starting to look like a platform. The wood was custom cut to the dimensions of our folding foam mattresses. I trimmed the front corners so when we get in, we don't accidentally hurt our shins. I'm using our works Blade Runner 2 tabletop saw. We used this when we finished out our basement. It's very handy. We used it for trim, we used it for flooring, a little bit of everything. There is a little bar that drops down from the front that holds the saw in place on the table. I forgot to use it. So the saw was drifting. Be safe, people. I also cut the back corners so we are able to lift the platform to clear the molding of the van and access the trunk space. Now that the platform is fully cut, I'm ready to start on the hinges. I changed the blade from a wood to a metal blade, measured the 48 inch hinge, and cut it in half. I used tin snips to create a clean edge. A tip we learned from another YouTuber was to use double-sided tape to secure the hinge to the board while pre-drilling the holes. I marked the drill bit with blue tape so I didn't go too deep. The tape worked great for pre-drilling making the screws go in nice and easy. We used a spray adhesive to secure the carpet to the board, then stapled it around the edges for a nice finished look. And best of all, no splinters. Before trying to level the platform in the car, we located a level area of the driveway first. To cut the steel legs from Ikea, Bill used a Diablo blade. These blades are wonderful. We measured the lengths needed for each section of the van. We placed the legs in a vice grip and started cutting away. Bill then used a bench grinder to clean up the edges before putting the feet back on. We have five different lengths for the legs to make the platform level. We numbered the flanges and legs to take the guesswork out when installing them. When installing the flanges and legs, we ran into a slight problem. There is an area in the rear that has a depression with wires in it. This is where one of the legs sat. This was an easy fix though. We moved two of the legs over and solved the problem. With the individual platforms being foldable, they are much easier to store in the garage and put in the van. Bill just started installing the legs and this is where the numbering system helps a ton. We forgot to show you, we installed D-rings under the platforms and secured them with lashing straps to the seat anchors in the floor. The process is the same for both sides. If you're going on a solo trip, you only need one platform, saving weight, and gaining valuable space. 
we now have a completed and level platform in our van. We designed the platform for versatility. During the day, we can remove the two front legs and fold the front portion of the platform down for additional floor space. With the rear platform hinged, we can access our trunk space and prop it up to a reclining position. We have two kids, so we left our second row stow and go seats in. If traveling solo, we can use the stow and go seat for daytime seating. If we are bringing the kids with us, we can also take the legs off the center portion and fold the platform onto the back, allowing for both seats to be utilized. The bed is very sturdy, flexible, and most importantly, comfortable. We added our bedding in a few pillows and the project is complete. Thanks for watching. We hope this inspires you to get out there and explore. If you're in the planning stages or have recently built a bed, let us know in the comments what you think and add a link if you have a video. We'd love to check it out. A few mistakes were made along the way, but hey, that's how you learn, right? The comfort and sturdiness of our bed was our primary goal with this build, and I think it suits our needs pretty well. We have a few trips planned once the van is done, so if you enjoyed the video, leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for future videos. See you out there on the road.